R. Kelly Property Line, Abandoned Mansion, Car Collection. In the annals of fame and fortune, few narratives encapsulate the meteoric rise and tumultuous descent quite like the tale of R. Kelly's abandoned mansion, his fleet of cars, and the ever-shifting sands of his net worth. This is not merely a story of opulence gone awry it's a symphony of success and scandal, a chronicle that reverberates through the corridors of stardom. Join us as we embark on a journey through the lavish echoes of a once thriving estate. The gleaming metal of a decadent car collection, and the financial roller coaster that traces the rise and fall of a music icon. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Renowned for his prowess as an American singer, songwriter, actor, and record producer, R. Kelly's financial narrative has taken a staggering turn. Once basking in a peak net worth that easily soared into the tens of millions, if not reaching a zenith of $100 million, the crooner now finds himself grappling with a negative net worth. Notably standing at negative $2 million, the unraveling of his fortune became glaring in April 2020, as Kelly, seeking release from incarceration, disclosed a staggering debt of nearly $1,900,000 owed solely to the IRS, with additional liabilities to other creditors. The stark contrast between his present financial predicament and the pinnacle of his success in the 1990s, where he earned monikers like the King of R&B and the Pied Piper of R&B, paints a vivid portrait of the rise and fall of a once chart-topping artist. From hits like, Bump and Grind, to the anthemic, I Believe I Can Fly, R. Kelly's journey reflects a seismic shift from the heights of musical acclaim to the complexities of financial tribulations, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of American pop culture. During his career R. Kelly received 24 Grammy nominations for his own performances, or for work he has produced for other artists, and he's won three of the awards. Yet, the crescendo of his success was eclipsed by the discordant notes of a tumultuous personal life, casting a shadow over his musical legacy. The narrative takes a dark turn as a series of charges culminated in R. Kelly's conviction on counts of sex trafficking, child pornography, and racketeering. The legal reverberations were seismic, with a single conviction leading to a draconian 31-year prison sentence. As of the present year, 2023, the maestro finds himself confined within the walls of the FCI Butner Medium I prison complex. A stark contrast to the stages where he once commanded adulation, the scheduled release date of December 21, 2045, serves as a poignant reminder of the fall from grace that has etched its indelible mark on the trajectory of R. Kelly's life and career. Robert Sylvester Kelly was born on the south side of Chicago on January 8, 1967. He dropped out of high school to perform as a subway musician. The fateful turning point arrived when Kelly seized the spotlight on the television talent show, Big Break. An event that not only showcased his vocal dexterity but also awarded him a transformative $100,000 prize. This windfall served as the catalyst for his ascent into the industry's echelons, propelling him to ink a pivotal deal with Jive Records in 1991. The collaborative efforts with his ensemble, Public Announcement, bore fruit in the form of the 1993 album, Born into the 90s, a sonic tapestry that etched his name into the evolving soundscape of the era. In November 1993, R. Kelly released his solo debut, 12 Play. Thanks to largely to the single, Bump and Grind, the album was eventually certified six times platinum. Concurrently, Kelly embarked on a dual musical journey, not only shaping his own artistic legacy but also leaving an indelible mark as a prolific producer for other artists. This parallel pursuit revealed the breadth of his musical acumen, as he lent his creative genius to shaping records that would echo through the corridors of the industry. A pivotal moment in Kelly's collaborative ventures unfolded in 1992 when music producer Barry Hankerson orchestrated an introduction that would resonate across the realms of R&B. This introduction was to his niece, the precociously talented 12-year-old vocalist named Aaliyah. The ensuing collaboration saw Kelly assume the roles of producer and songwriter for Aaliyah's debut album a magnum opus that not only achieved double platinum status but also heralded the arrival of a musical luminary. The momentum of Kelly's solo career reached a crescendo in 1995 with the release of his eponymous album, R. Kelly, a magnum opus that resonated with audiences to the tune of 4 million copies sold. The anthemic single, I Believe I Can Fly, not only summited the charts but also clinched three coveted Grammy Awards, etching Kelly's name in the annals of musical excellence. The ensuing years witnessed a relentless wave of multi-platinum releases, with Kelly unfurling the ambitious multi-part hip-hop opera. Trapped in the closet, 
This genre-blurring narrative was strategically unveiled to radio stations in tantalizing short portions before culminating in its public release in the spring of 2010, a move that showcased Kelly's penchant for pushing the boundaries of musical storytelling. Venturing into the 2010s, Kelly continued to weave his sonic tapestry with the releases of Black Panties in 2013 and The Buffet in 2015, each album a testament to his enduring creativity. Beyond the studio, Kelly's stage presence reverberated across the globe, with 12 official tours spanning from 1994 to 2013, a testament to his ability to command audiences with a magnetic stage presence. Had R. Kelly never experienced any legal problems, his net worth could have easily topped 50 to 100 million dollars. However, the resounding echoes of legal woes have cast a formidable shadow on the financial landscape of the Grammy-winning maestro. Reports suggest that Kelly has disbursed staggering sums, reaching into the tens of millions, purportedly to settle a litany of lawsuits brought forth by numerous women who have asserted allegations of abuse against the singer. The financial narrative takes an even more complex turn with the revelation that a significant erosion of Kelly's net worth was exacerbated by the dissolution of his marriage to Andrea Lee, his spouse from 1996 to 2009 a period coinciding with the zenith of his career. The divorce, occurring during what should have been the most lucrative years of Kelly's professional life, stands as a poignant reminder of the intricate interplay between personal and financial realms in the tumultuous life of a musical luminary, Abandoned real estate, in 1997, R. Kelly purchased a four-acre undeveloped lakefront property in the Chicago suburb of Olympia Fields. From this blank canvas, Kelly conjured a mansion of grandiose proportions, a 14,000-square-feet opulent abode christened, The Chocolate Factory. This architectural marvel, boasting six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, an indoor pool, a home theater, and a basketball court, stood as a testament to Kelly's penchant for luxury. The allure of this lavish estate, however, was not without its legal entanglements. In 2007, disgruntled neighbors took legal action against Kelly, citing grievances ranging from the alleged illegal parking of his colossal tour bus to the construction of a guardhouse without the requisite permit, and even objections to the presence of dogs on the property. These disputes hinted at the collision between the private indulgences of a musical luminary and the expectations of a suburban community. The financial complexities of Kelly's real estate portfolio became increasingly pronounced as the burden of a nearly $3 million mortgage to J.P. Morgan Chase Bank weighed on the chocolate factory. In July 2011, the specter of foreclosure loomed large as the bank initiated proceedings, citing Kelly's reported failure to meet mortgage payments for about a year. The crescendo of this financial opera reached its climax in a foreclosure auction held in March 2013 with J.P. Morgan securing ownership by bidding $950,000 for the once palatial mansion they had previously mortgaged. In a somewhat anticlimactic denouement, the bank ultimately sold the property in November 2013 for a substantially reduced sum of $587,000. The echoes of this transaction reverberate with a lingering question mark, as the once opulent residence has remained in a state of real estate purgatory since, devoid of a buyer or tenant. The saga of The Chocolate Factory encapsulates not only the rise and fall of a home but serves as a microcosm of R. Kelly's broader financial narrative. Where legal disputes, mortgage burdens, and the caprices of the real estate market converge in a tale that speaks to the intricacies of both personal indulgence and financial tribulations in the life of a musical icon. Not only that, we invite you to explore his abandoned cars that have been repossessed as landfills, which is truly a shame. Abandoned Car Collection in R. Kelly's once lavish garage, where luxury cars were stored, were represented by a trio of his most valuable possessions. At the helm of the Kelly car collection sits a sapphire blue Bentley Continental, a vehicular masterpiece adorned with 19-inch alloy wheels. Underneath its sleek exterior lies a 4-liter V8 engine, a mechanical symphony producing a formidable 572 horsepower and 515 newton meters of torque. This automotive marvel, seamlessly paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, commands a princely sum of $222,000. The opulence doesn't end there. Enter the realm of the Mercedes Maybach GLS 600, a vehicular embodiment of sophistication. Powered by a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine generating 550 horsepower and an impressive 730 newton meters of torque, the GLS 600 transcends the realm of transportation to become a sanctuary of luxury. Its interior, a testament to automotive decadence, boasts two reclining seats with ventilation functions, 
a 12 massage option, a 14-inch screen, and a 13-speaker Burmester sound system. The price of admission to this mobile palace exceeds the $170,000 mark, a fitting investment for those who seek not merely transportation but an indulgent experience on wheels. The pièce de résistance in Kelly's Automotive Symphony is none other than the Phantom Drophead Coupé, a British saloon that exemplifies automotive grandeur. Beneath its elegant exterior lies a twin-turbo V12 engine, a mechanical marvel with a displacement of 6 liters. Paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, this powerhouse generates an awe-inspiring 563 horsepower and 660 newton-meters of torque. The Phantom, draped in sophistication and commanding a price tag of $340,000, emerges as the epitome of automotive excellence within the Singer's collection. It is truly a pity that these three cars are covered in old dust and damaged over time. Philanthropy, despite the shadows cast by his personal life, the artist demonstrated a willingness to leverage his fame and fortune for the greater good. One noteworthy instance is his substantial donation of approximately $2 million to support various charitable foundations. This philanthropic gesture speaks to the warmth that coexists with the controversies surrounding his name. Humanitarian contributions through music, R. Kelly's commitment to philanthropy extended beyond mere financial contributions, finding expression in his music as a powerful medium for social change. In April 2007, following the tragic Virginia Tech School shooting, Kelly released the poignant song, Rise Up, and selflessly donated the net proceeds to the families of the victims. This act not only showcased his empathy but also highlighted the potential for artists to use their craft as a force for healing and support during times of collective grief. In 2010, Kelly further harnessed the influence of his musical talent for the greater good by penning the song, Sign of a Victory, for the FIFA World Cup. All proceeds from this anthem were directed towards African charities, demonstrating his commitment to addressing global issues and making a positive impact on the African continent. Local Community Engagement Beyond the global stage, R. Kelly's philanthropy also had a localized impact. On April 6, 2011, he took the stage at a charity event in Chicago. Contributing to Claris House, an organization dedicated to building employment, housing, healthcare, and education in Chicago's projects. This act of community engagement reflected a desire to address social issues at the grassroots level and invest in the well-being of his hometown. Addressing Crisis, the Flint Water Crisis In 2016, as the Flint Water Crisis unfolded, R. Kelly once again demonstrated his commitment to humanitarian causes by donating cases of water to the beleaguered community. This act, in the midst of a severe public health crisis, underscored his willingness to step up and provide tangible support to those in need. Personal Life In 1996, R. Kelly tied the knot with Andrea Kelly, his former backup dancer and mother of their three children, Joanne, Ja, born in 2000, and Robert Jr., born in 2002. The relationship took a tumultuous turn in September 2005 when Andrea filed a restraining order against Kelly following a physical altercation. This marked a pivotal moment, leading to her decision to file for divorce in 2006. Their divorce, concluding a 13-year marriage, was finalized in January 2009. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.